Throughout the day, people would stop by with flowers, balloons, and stuffed animals for the victims of Thursday's shooting stemming from eviction proceedings at a Northeast Independence home. Most everyone wondering why the person inside, according to authorities, shot and killed process server Drexel Mack and Independence Police Officer Cody Allen. They're out doing their job. And then all of a sudden, you wake up one morning, kiss your wife goodbye, your kids goodbye, and then they don't come home. As people try to figure out how to help today, Answering the Call, a charity for first responders, organized a monetary donation drive for Alan's family. Cody, his family, they served us, collectively served our community, and Cody lost his life serving us. So now I feel like it's the community's time to step in and get involved with this wife and these children and, you know, take care of this family. Fellow process server Dwayne Day organized a vigil. I've had two brethren basically lose their lives. I want people to come together to show these families we support in this type of stuff. Our community unites in tragedy. Day said his colleague died doing what he loved. Independence's mayor commended Allen's service and sacrifice. His bravery and dedication will forever be remembered. And his absence leaves a void that cannot be filled. Both had children. Allen's just one and three years old. That he was one of the good ones. He was an amazing guy, amazing dad, amazing family member. Um, he was there for everybody who needed him at any time. Now we do have information on our website on how to donate to funds for both men. We've also been working for you, checking on any efforts to help those injured officers. But the good news, Shannon, tonight is both are out of the hospital.